Hey everybody, it's John from Lake Erie Chestnuts. Today is gonna to be a little bit different video. We're gonna review a couple places that have chestnuts. One of them is at the Asbury Woods Nature Center, which is here in Erie. They have some chestnuts that are between 40 and 60 years of age. There's some conflicting information of whether they're early American Chinese hybrids or if they're pure Chinese. I think they're probably hybrids from the time that they were planted 40 to 60 years ago. I'll show you what they've got going on this year. They kind of, they don't really do a lot with them other than mow underneath them. There's no breeding or hybridization going on there. And then, and it's open to the public and it's free to go to. Then we'll go down to South Carolina where my twin brother knows where some chestnuts are at the Sand Hill Research Center that's ran by Clemson. He's convinced that they're doing some breeding or research there, but I don't see any evidence on that on their website that they're doing it there. They have another site in Northern South Carolina, but I don't see anything that they're doing with these trees and they look kind of like they're abandoned other they're being mowed around. But a public site where you could go and look at things and see how your chestnuts may look several years into the future. So it's a little different. Hopefully you like what you see. Give me feedback, let me know. Hey everybody, it's John, Lake Erie Chestnuts. I'm here at Asbury Woods. It's a local public park in Erie, Pennsylvania. And they have a chestnut grove. I'm not exactly sure about the age, but it's 40 or 50 years old, I'm guessing. And I was gonna show you some of the trees. They have two different statements about this orchard in their literature. One says it's a Chinese American hybrid built to bring out the characteristics of the American while having blight resistance. And then another one says that it's just a Castanimalisma Chinese chestnut orchard. So the one that says Chinese chestnut is a very young tree, maybe 10 years old. And so I'm not sure. I think the older trees probably are Chinese American hybrids and the younger trees are probably Molissima. But you can look, there's some different sizes of the burrs here. I think the leaf looks mostly Molissima. It's pretty glossy. The burrs are not large on this tree. Some have bigger burrs, but pretty mature trees. Getting that kind of very aged look. Dropping some branches. All of them have some sort of branch cut out. I guess I'm probably looking at the future of my orchard. Hopefully it produces a little better than this. These are pretty close, so I would say these are 15 foot apart. Mine are gonna be 30 foot apart, so they'll have more of a ability to produce. But a very peaceful place to walk. Got a little bit of a rain coming in. All of them have some degree of something happening, but I can't say I see obvious blight, but I have to consider something happening here. Here, the heartwood is basically completely out and it's kind of grown two legs around this so I don't know if that's a, a blight that's it's surviving it's about a 40 foot tree maybe 45 Now this tree does have blight. Got a bunch of stump sprouts. You can see a canker here that is trying to resist. But definitely that tree is more susceptible to blight. It's a pretty good stump size. Ooh. 
This tree's got a lot more burrs than the other trees. Zoom function on the camera I have here is not great, but a lot of burrs. Multi stem tree. Well, hey everybody, uh, I'm the brother of Lake Erie Chestnuts and I've been watching my daughter run here in the Sand Hills Research Center in South Carolina, operated by Clemson University as a cross country runner through her high school years. And I noticed over the past few years, you know, that this place, they've been doing a lot of experiments with the chestnut tree. And so this is a, a chestnut tree. I'm gonna try to find the identification of it but uh, it is August 24th in 2019 and they've got a lot of burrs I've noticed that over 90% of their trees have uh, fell apart and died so they've succumbed but they've been doing a lot of crossing and producing lots and lots of burrs there's even burrs right here on the ground and you can see the ground is just covered with these burrs these very 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 prickly, painful burrs. And so I think this is pretty neat here. You know, when you look at this and you see these burrs right here, uh, hopefully that gives you a really good feel for how big those are. And this tree's just covered with them. It's probably 30 feet tall. Has the characteristics of a Chinese chestnut. We're gonna go take a look at some more. This one is loaded up, just absolutely loaded with burrs. Of course, we're not allowed to take any samples from the trees. These are research subjects. And so I'm respecting that uh, to make sure that they have a really good harvest. Uh, this one has a couple pine trees growing in it. Probably has 300 burrs on it is my guess. Just loaded. Uh, all the way to ground level. Obviously with those spikes, nothing's gonna eat them, nothing. Uh, I have another one here. It's approximately 15 to 20 feet tall. It is loaded with uh, burrs, very large ones. These are substantially larger. You can see the catkin uh, hanging off of it here. Very, 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 very large burrs. There is no noticeable identification of the types of chestnuts uh, that these trees are. Here's another one. It's probably 15 to 20 feet tall, loaded with maybe 100. They have lost absolutely at least 90% of their trees. Um, but that's okay. They're slowly but surely crossing them. This is a very small one, uh, maybe 12 feet tall, maybe. Uh, some burrs develop, including many, right here on the ground, laying on the ground. Uh, still attached to the tree, but the limb is on the ground. You can see those. Some more trees here. But it's pretty neat as I've seen my brother grow his orchard, being able to uh, follow along here in South Carolina with the work that they're doing here at the research with Clemson Research Lab. They're doing a great job. That's awesome, get fired up.